What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Let's talk about what's been happening in the Lone Star State. Former President Prison Lips recently visited with the top state leaders in Texas at the border to spread more lies about the Biden administration's immigration policies during a visit to his failed border wall. I just know his head swelled up like a honeymoon pecker after watching Greg Abbott turn into a damn bashful geisha as he drug his knuckles off the plane upon arrival. Greg must have tickled him pink. <laughs> I mean, he was still as orange as a fucking sunset, but Oompa Loompa Jesus did take the time to reiterate his endorsement of Abbott for re-election. They're going to birth a border wall together, I guess. Border walls aren't protected in the heartbeat bill, are they? You don't know. Either way, something we certainly need to abort is greedy Greg's reign over Texas. Lately, he's under the impression he's a dictator or a king. He's certainly no Bran Stark. Greg and his pro-forced birth extremists have always been off the rails, but lately, I haven't known whether to offer Greg a padded cell or a circus tent. He's a crazy clown right out of a Stephen King novel. He denies women their reproductive rights, the Texas state legislature their funding, he wants to deny people in Texas the right to vote, and if he keeps denying climate change, with these rising sea levels and floods, we'll all float down here. Republicans love saying shit like, in God we trust. But what does G-O-D really mean to them? I'll tell you, gerrymandering and obstructing democracy. Greg Abbott loves G-O-D. The Texas Democrats fled the state on July 12th and headed for Washington, D.C. to escape Governor Pennywise and his voter suppression bills. Greg was so mad about it, the veins in his head swelled up like, well, like a honeymoon pecker. Democrats left so they could break what's called a quorum, so Republicans couldn't pass legislation that would suppress voting rights here in Texas. A quorum is the minimum number of members required for a governing body to conduct official business, and with more than 50 out of 67 House Democrats absent, there will not be enough members present for Gregory to suppress our voting rights. Grouchy Greg issued a statement talking about the harm the Democrats are inflicting on their constituents as they fly away from their responsibilities. Reminds me of the deafening silence from Gregory when old Rafael Cruz flew over the incomplete border wall in February and left his constituents for Cancun while hundreds of us died up here in the deep freeze. Huh, sounds like hypocrisy to me. <laughs> I assumed the hypocrisy would stop when pigs flew, but... Ted already did that, and here we are. Greg, in his rage, declared the Democrats were going to be arrested and cabined when they returned. Cabined. That's a cute way of saying held hostage. Greg wanted people to get COVID-19 in 2020, but in 2021, he wants everybody to get cabin fever. He wants to have them picked up by the Texas Rangers and hauled off to the Capitol and held hostage until they give him what he wants, or until the special session ends on August 6th. Oop, that's not a joke. He literally wants to lock them inside the Capitol until August. Senate Bill 1 and House Bill 3 are the voting bills being pushed by GOP lawmakers in Texas right now. SB 1 allows partisan poll watcher protection. This includes allowing them to sit or stand close enough to fucking eavesdrop on your conversations. Effectively, the bill makes it illegal to obstruct or create distance for poll watchers in any way, while also giving poll watchers more legal recourse against election officials. This is how voter intimidation starts, and that's the point. The bill also includes mail-in ballot restrictions, banning drive through voting, and prohibiting early voting hours. Also, election officials in large counties would be required to monitor all input and activity on voting machines via tracking software. Anyone who simultaneously assists three or more voters would be required to fill out a form detailing their relationship to the voters and whether they're being paid by a political campaign or committee. Helping people now requires paperwork. Woman asked which side faced up when putting the ballot in the machine. <sighs> House Bill 3 is basically the same bullshit, but this one allows the partisan poll watchers one freebie. What do I mean by that? They will be allowed to violate one election law, but if they violate two, they will have to be removed. 
This isn't the first time Texas Democrats have done something like this. In 2003, Texas Democrats left for Oklahoma in order to block the redrawing of congressional districts in the Republicans' favor. Gerrymandering. It's why blue Texas is forced to identify as a red state. Texas is one of the hardest places to vote in the country. The Republicans have Texas in a death grip at all times because if Texas goes blue, there will never be another Republican president again. California and New York are blue as fuck. Throw in Texas and it's done, bitch. Done. Three Texas Democrats who were fully vaccinated contracted COVID during all this. They risked their health, they left their families, and they literally fled to fight for our democracy. Texas lawmakers and residents like myself who vote blue get shit from everyone. We get shit from the Republicans here and all other states and then from the Democrats in all the other states. If you're a Democrat from another state who has ever said, and I see it on my page all the fucking time, sell Texas to Mexico. Texans are getting what they deserve. Serves Texans right. You're cordially invited to go fuck yourself. I say all the time, all of our cities, every single one, are blue. There are a lot of good people here, and our lawmakers, again, are doing everything to fight for us. So instead of you running your mouth and talking shit and lumping all Texans together, help us. You should care about Texas as much as the Texas Dems, because believe it or not, Texas affects all of you too. If you're tired of constantly fighting for your rights and watching Republican administrations dismantle everything Democratic presidents do, help us turn Texas blue. Stop rooting against us and fight with us. Donate to campaigns, educate yourself, or at the very least, shut the fuck up. I'd greatly appreciate it. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're not rooting for Texas.